This is the award-winning Ernest Angley Hour, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ to all nations. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. As you watch today's program, reach out in faith and allow the Lord to minister to your personal needs. You can have a miracle. And here is God's man for this hour, Reverend Ernest Angley. Greetings in the name of the Lord and welcome to the Ernest Angley Hour. I'm the Reverend Chris Mockamer. I'm an associate pastor at Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral. I'll be your guest host for the program today. Friend, we have good Christmas music and singing throughout, plus a wonderful sermon by the Reverend Ernest Angley and Kathy Millar will be on set sharing great testimonies of how God is moving and blessing people through this Jesus ministry around the world. And right now, it's the Singing Men's Quartet with Christmas Joy Medley. Sing. Come adore on bended knee, Christ the Lord, the newborn King. Savior is born, hallelujah, born. 
shining God's glory from heaven above. Christ is born, hallelujah, born. Heavenly praise, God's gift of love. Angels in the sky singing glory on high. Don't be afraid, don't run in fright. Bringing good tidings and great joy. Come and see God's holy baby boy. Peace on earth, goodwill toward men. The Savior came, brought freedom from sin. Shepherds in the field, sheep across the land. Just reach out, take the baby Jesus' hand. Jesus is born, hallelujah, born. In the little town called Bethlehem. Jesus is born, hallelujah, born. In the stable next to a little lamb. My Savior is born, hallelujah, born. Shining God's glory from heaven above. Christ is born, hallelujah, born. Heavenly praise God's gift of love. Kings of the East, they were so wise. Saw a holy star, such a great surprise. Lead us to the Savior this holy night. Shines from the east, and it's so bright. Looked upon the child that the prophets foretold. Brought him myrrh, frankincense, and gold. Precious little one from heaven this night. Glory and praise. What a wonderful sight. Jesus is born, hallelujah, born. In the little town called Bethlehem. Jesus is born, hallelujah, born In the stable next to a little lamb My Savior is born, hallelujah, born Shining God's glory from heaven above Christ is born, hallelujah, born Heavenly praise God's gift of love Jesus is born, hallelujah, born In the little town called Bethlehem Jesus is born, hallelujah, born in the stable next to a little lamb My Savior is born, hallelujah, born Shining God's glory from heaven above Christ is born, hallelujah, born Heavenly praise God's gift of love Jesus is born, hallelujah, born In the stable next to a little lamb Hallelujah, born Hallelujah, born He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. Subject is, God is my everything. Say it, everybody. Say it again. And real loud. Psalms. 18th chapter, verse 1 through 3. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer and my God, my strength and whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation. The horn of my salvation. Oh, yes, the joy of the peace, the gladness of salvation. In my high tower, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be, be saved from mine enemies. David spake this psalm to the Lord the day that God declared, delivered him from all his enemies. And from the hand of Saul, God was David's everything. And David knew that the kind of deliverance could only come from God. When God is truly your everything, you don't have to worry when tests and times come. Why? Because God does not test your human abilities. He already knows that they are weak. He tests your faith in his abilities. How are you doing with his abilities? Now, this is a great statement, and 
you can learn much from this one statement that God gave. And he tests your faith in his abilities. You think of that. And I, think deep, the Lord said. Think deep. And to think deep in this. First Peter chapter 1, verse 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. That divine faith it'll take to change us in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. It's wonderful. Everything's ahead of us. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right, and never turn and look back. Never turn and look back. James chapter 1, verse 3, knowing this, that trying of your faith worketh what? Patience. That's something to dwell on. It's something to dwell on. The trying of your divine faith worketh patience. God knows that our human strength is weak. However, if God is our strength, we will endure to the end and will win. We will win. That's good news, isn't it? God knows that we are not a fortress sealed off from enemy attack. However, if God is our fortress, enemy influence and attacks will not get in inside of us. And as long as they're outside, as long as the storm's outside, we are safe, safe, and secure. God knows that we are not deliverers. We cannot deliver ourselves, much less others. But if God is our deliverer, we will be set free. God knows that we are not a buckler. That means a shield. We cannot defend ourselves against the powers of darkness. But if God is our shield, the darts of the enemy cannot penetrate our souls. And that's good to know. God knows that we are not a horn of salvation, the great strength and power of salvation. We have no power to save ourselves. But if he is our horn of salvation, salvation is ours for the asking. It's free, free, free. If the Son sets you free, you are free indeed, the Bible declares. God knows that we are not a high tower, watchtower that is. Our human vision is so limited that we could never make good watchmen. But if God is our high tower, he will always see what is coming and sound the warning through the Holy Ghost. Sound the warning. Let you know you live close to God. I know my mother, she, she would get warning again and again. God would warn her and she would get ready for it. She knew it was coming. She didn't always the source of it, but she knew it was coming. God let her know it, it was coming. I learned so much from my mother. People have tried to build their lives trusting only in themselves. They've built upon their own foundation, thinking it was sound and strong. They built higher, higher upon that weak foundation, but oh, how great was the fall when the storms and winds came and beat against it. Matthew, the seventh chapter, verses 26 and 27. And everyone that heareth these sayings mine, and doth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. 
and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. When you read verse 27, it tells us that the rain, the floods, and the winds beat upon that house, and beat means as a salt in which the victim is hit re repeatedly. Has the enemy beat against your house? Hitting it ever over and over. Has the rain descended upon on you? Have the floods come? Have the winds blown upon you from all angles? I know he has. I know it has. I know it has. It has, hasn't it? You don't have to vote for it. Bad enough to be with it. But it's that way. It happens. God must be your everything, especially in this last hour. When God is your everything, you can be content no matter what the circumstances around you are. God was everything to the Apostle Paul, and he learned to be content. He faced each day just like Jesus did because he knew God was with him. Philippians 4th chapter, the 11th verse. Not that I speak in respect of one, for I have learned for whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. And that's the good, that's the Jesus way. Paul learned it, and so many of us have learned it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I learned to be content, whatever state I'm in, whatever's going on. I learned to be content. God wants me there. That's where I want to be. I want to be where the Lord can use me at his beck and will. First Timothy, six chapter, verses six through eight. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world and is certain we'll carry nothing out. I like that, don't you? We brought nothing in and you don't worry, you're not gonna take any out, anything out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content because God's got things everlasting, that eternal, that's much greater for each child of the king, each child of the king. And that's wonderful. Better days, wonderful days, wonderful times ahead of us. Hebrews 13th chapter, verse 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake thee. That should be sufficient. I will never leave you nor forsake thee. I will be with you all the way. And that right hand's up for you. You have it made. There's no power can defeat the right arm and hand of the Almighty, the great I am. Don't let God be a stranger. God isn't a stranger to me. He's my best friend. He's my everything. He really is. And many of you can say that too, that he's your everything. Just think about that. That'll make you feel so contented. Matthew, the sixth chapter, verses 31 through 34. Therefore, 
take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. He'll supply, he's already promised to supply you with your food and your drink, your clothes. Absolutely. But what does he want you to do? And want me to do? But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. That's one of the scriptures I memorized so many years ago. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and God help me to do that down through life's journey. Take therefore no thought for to the tomorrow, the morrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. And that's meaning that the devil will try to defeat you in thinking about what's going to happen on tomorrow. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? God's going to stand by us all the way, all the way. Hebrews 13th chapter, verses 6 and 8, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper and will not fear what man shall do unto me. Then the eighth verse, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. I love that and forever and forever and forever and forever. Say it. And say it again. And louder this time. Doesn't that sound good? Sounds good. Now say the whole that whole verse. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. That covers our period of time forever. Don't let God be God in a few things in your life. Let him be everything, your faith, your wisdom, your knowledge, your witness, your song, your remember, your judge, your record on high. Second Samuel, first um, chapter 22, verse 33. God is my strength and power and maketh my way perfect. He makes your way perfect. God is your strength and power. This message should mean so much to you. As I going through this, as I was going through this, I knew it would mean so much to you because it meant so much to me. You just keep on going with it. Oh no, God is everything. God is my everything. God is my everything. God is my everything. And that month, that'll make music in your spirit. Psalms 59th, verse 17, unto thee, O my strength, will I sing, for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. I have all the mercy I need, the psalmist is saying. All the mercy, all the love, all the, I have everything because God is my everything. God doesn't come up lacking in anything good 
all good and perfect gifts comes from heaven. The Bible declares them. Isaiah the prophet wrote in the 12th chapter, verse 2, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength, my song. He also has become my salvation, proving that he is my everything, our everything. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 19. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hinds feet, and he will make me to walk upon mine high places, leaping high, leaping high. When you leap high, you look high. You're looking high. Romans chapter 1, verse 9. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son. Yes, that's the, the Apostle Paul. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son. And that's where our spirit is tonight, in the gospel of his son. 1 Corinthians 4, 4. He that judgeth me is the Lord. God is my judge and no one else. Always remember this. That's a wonderful statement. He that judgeth me is the great I am. God is my judge and no one else. I won't pay attention to anybody else's judgment. No matter who they are. Devil, you don't need to come around. You're not my judge. and I don't accept anything you have to say. Philippians chapter 1 verse 8. For God is my record. God is my record. He knows all about me. That's what Paul is saying. He knows everything about me. Your safety is in God only. Let God be your everything. Proverbs 18th chapter verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous running into it and is safe. We run into the Word. We run for the Word. When we're in trouble, we run into the Word. That's what I do. That's what most of you are doing. That's the reason you're here tonight in this great miracle service. God is my everything. Would you say that now? God is and again. God is and real loud. And you, you mean that too. See, you really mean that. He is your everything. And you in television land, radio land, and you, you hear this message all over the world, our radio station, 24 hours around the clock. Will you accept God as your everything? You that are out of the fold, you that are, you have no shelter, you have no salvation. Say, oh God, I'm so sorry. I walked in the night when there was plenty of light, but I didn't want to live holy. I didn't feel the need of it. And now I feel the need. You said if I would repent, you would forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. And I do repent with great sorrow. 
And I do believe, oh, I do believe the blood of Jesus cleanses me from all unrighteousness, from all sin. Thank God I'm free. I'm free. Jesus has set me free. And now you can be healed. The healing is on the table for everything already paid for. Already paid for. Say, oh God, I know you heal everything. And I know you'll heal me of this. I'm not afraid of it. I have no fear. You are my healer. You are my everything. And I believe the healing power comes upon me now. And praise God, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. Praise God. No more cancer. No more TB. No more diseases. No more. I'm free. And now you must go on and get the Holy Ghost. The Lord has revealed to me. He told me many years ago I would reach the upper class with the Holy Ghost. And he said, it's never been done. And now we're doing it. And the upper class, God let me know. He revealed to me last week that the upper class is really receiving the Holy Ghost now. And the way he gave it to me, not just a billion, but we no doubt across the two billion part and going on. Isn't that wonderful? That's so wonderful. That's so wonderful. We will journey on right or contact us in the easiest way for you. And we'll be glad to hear from you. God bless you. See you on the one flight out. It's coming real soon. God is my everything. And indeed, friend, I hope he is. And I hope you enjoyed that sermon by the Reverend Ernest Angley. At this time, I'd like to invite you to be with us starting next weekend for great services celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, it all starts next Sunday at Ernest Angeles Grace Cathedral in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, 7 p.m. for the Big Christmas Sing. You will enjoy a variety of groups and artists performing gospel songs, Christmas music, and singing carols. Oh, what a time in the Lord it will be. Then, Friday night, December 28th at 7 p.m., it's the Christmas and New Year's Holy Communion and Miracle Service. Such a special service as people discern the Lord's body and taking Holy Communion, and people will receive fantastic miracles and healings. Then, Sunday, December 30th at 7 p.m., it's our big New Year's sing. Once again, no preaching in this service, all good Christmas songs and carols, plus gospel songs as well. And friend, all seats are free. So do make plans to be with us. Tell family and friends about it. For more information, go to ernestangely.org. And friend, because this is the Christmas season and we are celebrating God's great love gift to us, we in turn are taking this love gift to others around the world. Help us do so. Send in your best Christmas offering. And when you do, God will bless you for it. We are reaching so many people around the world in this final hour. And God will bless you as we continue to win the lost at any cost. You can write to us at Ernest Angley Ministries, P.O. Box 1790, Akron, Ohio, 44309. In Canada, Ernest Angley Ministries, Box 970, Station U, Toronto, Ontario, M8Z, 5P9. 
And of course, you can always make donations through our website, earnestangely.org. And when you stand by this Jesus ministry with your support each month, you get a new Giant Little Book of the Month. And the December Giant Little Book is entitled, Led by the Spirit, a powerful sermon by the Reverend Ernest Angley. So when you send in your support for December, be sure to request gift offer P350. Now we have for you good Christmas music and singing, and then Kathy with great testimonies. Now it's the Cathedral Boys. Have yourself a Jesus Christmas. It's the birthday of our King, joy and happiness to bring. Lifting Jesus, giving praise, sharing love on Christmas Day. What a glorious time to live, and a wondrous time to give. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, it's the birthday of our King. Have yourself, have yourself a Jesus Christmas. Have yourself a holy time, let the love of Jesus shine. Have yourself, have yourself a Jesus Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, have yourself a Jesus Christmas time. It's a time of jubilee, all the saints of God you'll see. Celebrating Jesus' birth, shouting praises from on earth. As the angels join and sing, hallelujahs to the King. Merry Christmas, it's the birthday of our King. Have yourself, have yourself a Jesus Christmas. Have yourself a holy time, let the love of Jesus shine. Have yourself, have yourself a Jesus Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Have yourself a Jesus Christmas time. Have yourself, have yourself a Jesus Christmas. Have yourself, have yourself a holy time. Let the love of Jesus shine. Have yourself, have yourself a Jesus Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Have yourself a Jesus Christmas time. Jesus time. Oh, what a great Christmas song that was. Now I have with me Kathy Millar with testimonies from around the world. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you for having me here today. It's good to have you on the program. Well, I have a letter here from a man from Zambia. And he's writing, Dear Reverend Angeli, I begin with thanking the Almighty Father for his wonderful miracles that he has done for my family members. And of course, I thank you for your encouraging letter, the Bless Cloth, and the Power of the Holy Ghost magazines you sent. I previously wrote to you about my brother who had stomach problems, my mom who was suffering from foot pain, and my dad who had ear problems. Upon receiving the Bless Cloth, I followed the instructions you gave in the track, and I'm glad to tell you that a week later, I received a message from my brother to say he was having no more stomach pains. And when I went home, mom and dad had no more pains from their Ill illnesses as well. Praise the Lord for these miracles. May the Lord continue blessing you and your family, yours in Christ. That's great, God moved for the whole family. Absolutely. And by faith, he requested that blessed cloth for his family. So he took part in those miracles. That's right. <laughs> well, here is a letter from some sisters writing from Kenya, East Africa. And they write, Dear Reverend Angeli, praise to Jesus. On a Saturday, my sister and I were watching you on TV as you were preaching. Then you began to pray for those in need. I had ulcers in my abdomen, and as you prayed, I received my healing. I can now eat what I could not eat before. My sister who had a chest problem for about a year 
knelt down while you were praying and believed for God to heal her. She said she felt like someone was injecting her in the sides of her ribs and she began to sweat. When you finished praying, she was able to lift herself up and participate in hard activities that she could not do before. So God had moved in a wonderful way for her and she felt that manifestation of the healing. And that's something. Yes. We thank God for the wonderful miracles and healings. We also got saved through your television program. Oh, praise God. Yes, and that's the greatest miracle of all. That's right. We would wish and like very much to join your ministry. Welcome us, please. We are ready to serve the Lord. <laughs> praise be to Jesus and God bless your ministry. <laughs> and we do welcome them. Yes, We absolutely. have partners all over the world. Absolutely, thousands and thousands. Yes, we do. Well, here's a man writing from Zambia, Central Africa. And he writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, I consider you my brother because you showed me the way to the cross of Calvary, where my Lord died and shed his blood for me. I received your Power of the Holy Ghost magazine. Upon reading, it opened my mind and humbled my heart. And I saw the working power of the blood of Jesus. Just after receiving the magazine, I received your letter which was full of encouragements and instructions on how I could be born again. I have been forgiven through the power of the blood of Jesus. I am now delivered a born again Christian and living a changed life. And I'm praising my Lord every day. May the Lord give you long life to do his will with great happiness. And he signs it forgiven. <laughs> That's a wonderful letter. I just think it's beautiful when people write in and talk about how they've received salvation through this Jesus ministry, because there's just so many people who are out in the night lost, and they don't know that they can have that born again experience and be set free from that darkness. And there are those who are deceived. They think they've got it, yes, but they don't have the truth. Right. They've been deceived through false doctrine. Yes, and many times when they read the literature from this ministry, their eyes are open and they realize, I need to get saved. That's and right. it's just beautiful when they do really receive salvation, how their lives completely change. The truth sets them free. Yes. Well, here's a letter from a prisoner, and he's writing, Dear, from Republic of South Africa, Dear Reverend Angeli, first and foremost, I would like to greet you under the warm hands of God. I was very, very happy to receive the wonderful Bible and blessed cloth. I thank God who gave you the power to send them to me. Not long ago, I was very sick, losing a lot of weight. I was down to only 84 pounds. That's a lot. That's a lot. But I prayed using the blessed cloth and I became all right bit by bit. I started gaining weight and I can't even believe it myself. I now weigh 132 pounds. Praise God. <laughs> and I'm healthy and strong. May God bless you. So 84 pounds, that's not much no, weight. No, must have looked like death. Yes, yes, and you've been in the prisons where a lot of the people are on the uh, verge of It can be bad, yes. especially in the third world nations. Yes. But God moves. Yes, he, he cares. Does. And when they receive a Bible or literature from us, it's just a wonderful gift of God to them because they don't have much in those oh, prisons. Oh, no. They have nothing but time. Yes. And they use that time to really dig into the literature that we leave them. Mm -hmm. And oh, how they love the Word of God. Yes, and it's wonderful that he was able to receive that healing and that deliverance. Mm -hmm. And now he's up, you know, to good healthy weight. <laughs> yes, think what a testimony he'll be to yes, others. Absolutely. Well, here's a woman writing from Zambia, Africa, and she writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, I greet you in the holy name of Jesus Christ. Let his name be glorified for the miracle he gave me after I wrote to you requesting prayer. I had syphilis for one year and three months. I was in a critical condition and was unable to do anything on my own. But our God is powerful. After requesting prayer, you sent me a blessed cloth and God healed me. After being sick for so long, God also blessed me to give birth to a healthy 
baby boy. Oh, God is merciful. Yes, absolutely. And they love their children over there. Oh, so they that, do. <laughs> that's a great miracle for them. Another miracle we received was for my husband. He was bound with alcoholism. He used to drink way too much, but through the blessed cloth, he was delivered and is now able to have a healthy relationship with our children. I always watch your program on television. May God bless your ministry. Well, that whole family was changed. Yes. Changed by the power of God. Yes, and it's wonderful that they can get the television program and be able to pray with Reverend at the end of the program and put their hand on the television That's screen. Right. Well, here is a man writing from Botswana, Southern Africa, and he writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, Greetings be unto you and all the saints in your ministry in Jesus' name. I thank God for saving my soul and doing great miracles in the world through you, sir. I love you so much and wish to visit you. I watch your services every Sunday and thank Jesus for using you in a special way. So here's another soul that's touched through the broadcast. I write to thank God for healing me. One day I was watching your service and when you said, put your hand against mine on the TV, I put my hand against yours and closed my eyes and I can just picture him doing that. When you prayed, I felt the Holy Spirit and I was healed the minute you finished praying. I searched for the pain that was tormenting me all my life in my back and it was gone through the blood of Jesus. I praised God and was happy to thank him, yours faithfully. <laughs> well, when Reverend instructs people to do that, yes. that's a form of laying on of hands. Many years ago, the Lord instructed Reverend to have people do that. And over the years, we've had great miracles and healings right, take and that's, place. That's an act of faith. That's right. And he was using his faith and to think he, all his life he was suffering from that back condition. And just in a matter of moments, he was completely delivered and set free. It was an instant miracle. That's what God can do. <laughs> well, here's a woman writing from Livingston, Zambia. And she writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My writing to you, Reverend Angeli, is to let you know how grateful I am. I want to tell you that there is much improvement in my body, and I know the hand of the Lord is upon me. I received the blessed cloth that you sent for me and my family. I really use my blessed cloth and I've worn it out because whenever there is a pain in my body, I put the blessed cloth there and pray and I get better. So she uses it quite a bit. <laughs> I wrote to you some time ago and I told you that I had symptoms of a stroke. I couldn't even handle a cup of water. But God has touched me. Now I am able to touch things. I can walk. I can work. I can clean my house and lift things. I have seen how your prayers have helped me. Hypertension also nearly killed me, but the power of God worked for me. I believe with all my heart that there is nothing impossible with God. With Him, everything is possible. I thank my Lord. May God bless you. Amen. That's a great <laughs> miracle. Yes, God really moved for her. I'm glad she's using the blessed cloth. Well, here's another woman writing from Kenya, East Africa. Dear Reverend Angeli, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am a born again Christian living in Kenya. I've been watching your programs on television. They have been a great spiritual impact on my life. I've introduced many people to these programs, which they say are of great value and have brought changes in their lives. The sermon, Just Like Jesus, helped me a lot. It taught me to live like Jesus no matter the situation. May the good Lord bless you as you continue serving and living like Jesus. You are the chosen one to look after and feed God's flock. I pray that the Almighty God will continue ministering through you and using you as a vessel to revive and deliver His church. God bless you so much, yours faithfully. Well, that's another great letter. Yes, and I, I just think it's important to, to note when people are touched by the program, oftentimes they do go out and they spread the word and they encourage others to watch. And then mm -hmm. they start watching and then they're blessed and it just continues on and on. It does multiply that yes. way. 
And Reverend, he is a, a great steward of God, and God has been using him all these many, many years to spread the gospel. And it is, it's spreading across the world. It is, as in a great people, way. Yes, as they can tell through these letters. Mm -hmm. Well, I have another letter here, and this one is from Ghana, and a woman is writing this letter. And she writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, greetings in the name of the Lord Almighty Christ. I thank you for the blessed cloth and for the book you sent to me. I was so happy to receive them. I read your book and I saw that there are miracles through the blood of Jesus. I then used the blessed cloth and I saw wonders because I'm now healed of asthma. That's a great miracle yes, too. I, I praise the almighty God for the wonders he does, your daughter. So it, from just reading this, it seems like she wasn't even aware that miracles were real. And it was through that book that she realized, oh, I can get a miracle. And now she's received one for asthma. And now God is a greater reality yes, to her, no doubt. Absolutely. I think we have time for one more. Okay. Well, here is a letter. I'll jump to this letter here from a man writing from Republic of South Africa. And he writes, Dear Reverend Angeli, I would like to greet your whole ministry in the name of God. I'm writing this letter to thank you for helping me. Previously, I wrote to you asking for a blessed cloth. When I received it, I followed your instructions on how to use it. When I started using it, all the wounds that covered my whole head disappeared within two weeks. Praise wow, God. <laughs> that is great. This miracle showed me how great our Father in Heaven is. I also enjoyed the Power of the Holy Ghost magazines that you sent to me. After going through them, I share them with others who are interested in reading God's Word. Keep on spreading the Word of God and helping those who are suffering. God bless you. <laughs> oh, thanks, Kathy, for You're being welcome. on the program today. And friend, I just want to remind you, every testimony you've heard today, how the literature has blessed people, the blessed cloth, the television program, you're a part of it. None of this would have been possible had it not been for your support. So friend, I want to encourage you to keep standing by this Jesus ministry and you can expect heaven's window open blessings in your life. And now we have for you some more good Christmas music. Listen and be blessed. Jesus, Son of God, sent from heaven where the angels trod. His grace has come for the world to know. Born of a virgin, that his blood might flow, that divine blood might flow. is now in our midst. A king in our presence cannot be dismissed. Though humble and serving in body and flesh, his divinity brings us our His grace has come for the world to know, born of a virgin, that his blood might flow, that divine blood might flow. Where the angels trod, 
His grace has come for the world to know. Born of a virgin, that His blood might flow. The divine blood might flow. It's a beautiful number by the Cathedral Trio. Friend, we'll have more Christmas music on the program next week. In fact, the next two weeks are Christmas specials. All good Christmas music and singing and carols by all the groups in this Jesus ministry. Plus, you can always hear more Christmas songs as well as see miracles, listen to testimonies and sermons at ernestangeley.org. And you can also go to our Facebook page at Ernest Angley Ministries or go to our YouTube channel, Ernest Angley Ministries, and you will enjoy so much. Yes, friend, we have much to offer in this hour to be a blessing to you day after day. And speaking of a blessing, the next time you visit ernestangeley.org, be sure and read the latest edition of the Power of the Holy Ghost magazine. The December issue is entitled, Walking in the Midst of the Fire. This is a powerful sermon by Reverend Angeley. Also, you'll enjoy in this edition many testimonies of how God is moving and blessing people through this Jesus ministry. And friend, if you have been blessed by this Jesus ministry, maybe you've received a miracle or a healing. Maybe you have a loved one or a friend who has. We'd love to hear about it. Send us your testimony. You can send it by email to testimonies at ernestangeley.org. Or you can mail the testimony to Ernest Angeley Ministries, P.O. Box 1790, Akron, Ohio, 44309. And don't forget, friend, make plans to be with us next Sunday evening at Ernest Angeley's Grace Cathedral in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, for our big Christmas sing starting at 7 p.m. No preaching in this service. You will enjoy new Christmas songs plus the traditional carols by all of our groups and artists. All seats are free. It starts at 7 p.m. Come and be with us. Be sure and tell family and friends about it. I hope you enjoyed today's program today. And always remember, friend, nobody's ever loved you like Jesus loves you. Nobody has ever cared for you like he cares for you. You are special to God. Are you enjoying the anointed music, singing, and preaching on this program? I want to let you know it is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week on Ernest Angley World Radio. Go to our website to listen or download one of our apps. It doesn't matter where you are. As long as you have an internet connection, you can listen. Ernest Angley World Radio, a voice to the world. This program is paid for by the Ernest Angley Outreach Partners. Thank you for watching the Ernest Angley Ministries YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the Ernest Angley Hour, hit the thumbs up button. And please, help us take the message of Jesus to the world by clicking the link below to donate. Thanks again for watching, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe.